All right, now we have already seen some brand new feature which arrived on the Android 15 developer preview 1 a couple of weeks ago and now Google has released the developer preview 2 with a few more brand new features. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. The first feature is archiving the applications. Now you see when I press and hold on a third party application and tap on app information, you will get to see this brand new icon here archive. Tapping on this will archive this application which in turn saves the storage space on the phone. You see the app icon would look like this once it is archived you can just tap on this icon again to reinstall this application quickly so basically if you have any unused application on the phone that will go into archive mode to save the space on the device and whenever we need it back we can reinstall it in a jiffy now moving on to the second feature this is called audio sharing now when we go to the settings and tap on connected devices you will see this brand new option called audio sharing using this feature we can let others listen to your media along with you using their own compatible headphones so basically whatever you're playing on the phone can be heard by others on their compatible headphones pretty interesting feature but for now this is not working and maybe when it works i will keep you guys posted a simple feature which may be useful for a lot of people out there who want to share their audio with others. The next one is more of a video quality improvement while using the Pixel phone as webcam. Yes, we could use Pixel phone as webcam when we connect the phone to a laptop. This was introduced in the previous iteration of Android, which is Android 14. Now on this Android 15, there is some enhancements or improvements on the video quality when we use the phone as webcam. The next important feature which is available on the Android 15 is satellite connectivity support. With this support, we will be able to communicate with with another person even when we don't have cellular connectivity. We will be able to send the SMS through the satellite connectivity when we don't have cellular network. That is a very important feature which is arriving on Android 15. Currently I can only see the satellite messaging option here on the settings but when I tap on it, it doesn't work. So maybe when we get the first beta, the satellite messaging may work. I'll keep you guys posted about this so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel. The next important feature we are going to get on Android 15 is screen record detection. With this feature on Android 15, the applications on the phone will be able to detect when the apps are being screen recorded. This is definitely a great safety and privacy feature and this will be useful for the app developers to hide the sensitive information whenever the screen is being recorded. Now these are some amazing features which we have got on Android 15 Developer Preview 2 and if you have missed all those features which we got on Developer Preview 1, take a look at those features now. All right, now the first brand new feature we're gonna see on Android 15 is the screen recording per application. When you go to the notification panel and tap on screen record, you will see a pop-up with two different options, single app and entire screen. When you select a single app and tap on start recording, it is going to show you all the applications that you have on the phone. You can select the application on which you want to record the screen and it will instantly start recording the screen on the application that you have selected. What this means is, let's say you swipe down the notification or go back to the home screen, the screen recording will just pause and when you open that particular app you have selected, the screen recording will resume. So on the recorded clip, you will not see any other UI elements or portions of the phone. The recording will only have the contents from that application you selected. If you want to record the entire screen, just select entire screen while starting the recording. That will record anything that you do on the screen including the UI elements. Now here there is an important point which is mentioned. You can see while you are recording an app, Android has access to anything shown or played on the application. So be careful with things like passwords, payment details, messages, photos and audio and video. Now this will be applicable for both single app recording as well as entire screen recording. So while recording, make sure you do not key in the passwords or enter any sensitive data because Android has an access to it. Now the next feature is for the developers. Google says Android 15 adds new extensions for more control over the camera hardware and its algorithms on supported devices. This means the third party applications may be social media apps like Facebook, Instagram or any other application which uses the camera can deliver better images and videos within the application. So when you record a video or take a photo on Instagram or Facebook or any other third party social media application, we will be able to have more control on the camera and we will be able to get better images and videos which can be posted on these applications. Now this kind of integration is already there on iOS and now on Android we are going to see this. Recently with Samsung's Galaxy S24 series, Samsung did announce this kind of enhancements for a couple of social media application and now we are going to see this on all the other Android phones which basically enhances the in-app camera performance within the third-party applications. Next when you go to the settings and tap on notifications all the way 
way down, you will see a brand new option called notification cooldown. This will gradually lower the notification volume when you get many successive notifications from the same application. Many of us get irritated when the notifications pour in from a same application or from a group chat back to back. That does annoy us a lot of times. Now, if you turn on this notification cooldown feature, when you get back to back notifications continuously, this feature will gradually lower the notification volume, except for the first couple of notification sounds. That is definitely very thoughtfully done. And when you select this option, this pop up will give you a couple of options here. Apply cooldown to all notifications, apply cooldown to conversations, don't use notification cooldown. So you can select the one that you want. Then under sound and vibration, we can tap on vibration and haptics and scroll all the way down to see a brand new option called keyboard vibration. Now, if you have set the haptic feedback on your phone and if you do not want the vibrations for the keyboard, then you can turn this off specifically for the keyboard by using this particular toggle here. Just switch it off, you will not get the haptic feedback on the keyboard, but the rest of the areas on the device. We have also got the haptic feedbacks for the brightness bar. When you use the brightness bar slider, when you reach the bottom or the maximum brightness, you get to feel the haptic feedback here. Next, we have got the latest Health Connect application on the Android 15, which comes with new fitness and nutrition metrics. Lastly, this is the all new Easter egg we have got on Android 15. And I wish this was in a green color as shown by Google on their website. These are some of the brand new features which we currently have on Android 15 Developer Preview 1. Remember, this is the first build of Developer Preview we have got and we are expecting many more new features to get added in the coming days. And I will keep you guys posted about all these features and I'll also let you know which features may land on the Samsung Galaxy phones on the One UI 7.0. Now, if you're interested to know the timelines of these releases, the developer previews will be available in the month of February and March. We will probably get one more developer preview, the developer preview 2, and then the public beta releases will begin probably in the month of March. And then Google will test the platform stability in the month of June and July. And the final release is expected anytime after July, probably in the month of August or September. And soon after that, we can expect the uh, Android 15 to come to the Samsung Galaxy phones and many other Android phones. Let me know what do you think. I'm sure you're thinking that this is not that exciting, but wait for for it let's see what other new features will get added in the future i'll keep you posted and if you're new here be sure to subscribe to the channel to know more about your phone and give this video a like if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye